Hello everyone, welcome to chapel. My name is Miss E and I am the third grade teacher over at St. John. Alrighty, let's get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Let my light shine bright for God's glory. For those lost in the darkness of sin, our peace shows God's forgiveness. God's light, our witness. For those who are unaware of the light, our acts of goodness show God's presence, God's light, our witness. For those who are sick and hurting, our kindness shows God's love, God's light, our witness. For those who are lonely, our friendliness shows that God is with all, God's light, our witness. For those who are sad, our presence shows that God overcomes our sorrow, God's light, our witness. If we say we have fellowship with God while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Almighty God, in his mercy, has sent his son Jesus to be the light of the world. His light has destroyed the darkness of sin, and now we live as children of the light, shining his light for the world to see. Jesus said, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Let my light shine bright for God's glory. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or questioning. 
that you may be blameless and innocent children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Hello, everyone. I want to reread verses 14 and 15 of our verses today. Can you put on the lights? Thank you. All right. Verse 14 and 15 from Philippians. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. All right, parents and other adults watching, how many times have you heard your children complain? Probably more so since this coronavirus has started. Children, how often do you complain? Should we even mention those long road trips that we take as families? How come parents, children always seem to complain in that back seat of the car? Seems like forever sometimes. How many of you have argued with a sibling? Probably quite frequently. I know I do. Does it happen a lot? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I have to confess, as a fellow human, I've gotten in many arguments over the years, and I have done my share of complaining. However, I know how God feels about them, and I try very hard to do it less. Does that mean that I roll over and let my sister take the covers, or let my brother take my toys, or anything like that? No, but you can stand up for yourself without being mean, right? And sometimes we have to learn to just not complain. Verses 14 and 15 that I just read to you is really an amazing couple of verses. The Bible mentions shining like stars in the sky. I got a flashlight right here. And I want to demonstrate something for you. Can you turn off the lights, please? All right. You can see my flashlight here. We're going to pretend that this dark room is the entire world. It's a dark, dark place, okay? And people have to walk around in the dark all the time. You know why it is so dark? Because everyone argues and grumbles and complains all the time. Except for a few people. They are the children of God. I have a f my flashlight here. They are the children of God. Okay, Wherever they go, people can see it's good to have a child of God near you, except when they argue too. Light goes out. Looks like they're arguing. Oh no, what does that mean? Their light went out. Oh, their light's back on. Thank goodness. They must have made up. I have a little challenge for you. Will you turn back on the lights, please? I want you to work really hard, especially during this time when we aren't able to do the things that we normally do, like go hang out with friends or go to the pool or go to the park. We can't do those things, and we're with our family a lot, okay? I encourage you to work really hard to not argue or complain with your family members and other Christians this week and the weeks to come 
so your light continues to shine. Remember, that was our theme verse for the year. God's light, our witness. When we make the world a darker place, when we argue, I want you to keep your light shining. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please join me in Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. May God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit direct our days in his peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for chapel this today. Please enjoy your week.